Well hello everyone, Texie88 here and welcome to another review. And now I'm taking a look at Bazooka Bill for the ZX Spectrum, released by Melbourne House in 1986. As far as I can make out, the only other platform it came out on was the Commodore 64. From what I could, as far as I can tell, there, there was never an Amstrad CPC version, or at the very least no official one. Now, according to what uh, according to what I've read from the instruction manual, you, you basically play the titular soldier of fortune, and and you and the Pentagon has sent him to try and rescue General MacArthur, who's held somewhere in the, the South Pacific Islands, or the, also uh, the intelligence is led to believe. So you've got to find out exactly where he is and get him out. Now, what I, the reason I've been taking a look at this is that YouTuber T Dog One Three Five thought that it, it seemed like it seemed decent. So may as well see if it's as decent as it looks. So you can use keyboard, Kempston joystick, or Sinclair joystick. What's annoying is that the instructions don't tell you what the keyboard controls actually are, so that's not a good start. So there's me in the bottom left corner. And it seems like the controls, the I and P... Oh, God. It seems like the controls are, are I and P for left and right. And Q and Z for for up and down, which that's actually quite handy because oh, now I'm starting to see something a bit different. It, it, damn, I got killed. Goodness me. So in some ways, this is kind of like a cross between uh, Green Beret, uh, between Green Beret and, and to a certain extent, Kung Fu Master. Although it's not really as good as either of those. Although, if you, if you, I mean, even lying for the fact that the Spectrum got a pretty ass port of Kung Fu Master. Then its port, imagine its port of Green Beret was pretty good. Yeah. Now I've got lots of different weapons up in, in the top middle of the screen. I'm just trying to figure out how to actually use them. Bill was here. Why couldn't it? Bloody hell, that was a bit quick, wasn't it? Oh, goodness me, I have to do the cycling bollocks. So you see, I've got a keyboard. Why can't I just type? <sighs> the thing is, according to the instructions, I should be able to, I should be able to jump as well as, as I should be able to jump and um, and backwards jump and forwards jump, and I can't seem to do that. I'm wondering whether they're on keys. That might be done by different controls. Trouble is, because of your constant onslaught of enemies, it's not giving me a chance to actually figure out why what the controls are. It's not letting me do it. Why can't? And how do you change weapons? And what kind of punch is that? I mean, it looks it looks like a kind of punchy animation that you might expect from one of those um, handheld uh, liquid crystal display games. Oh dearie me! This isn't. 
Oh, let's see what happens. Oh, God, get down the ladder. Oh, my God. No, that's it. Oh, God. No, sorry, T Dog. I'm not enjoying this. This isn't. This isn't nearly as good as it looks. In fact, it's really quite annoying. And when you're inside buildings like this, you can barely see what's happening because the walls are in the way. Yeah, you can. You can sort of see what's happening. Um, what's happening is you go past windows, but that's about it. Ah, there's a gun down there. Can I select the gun? How do I select the other weapons? Oh, bloody hell. I accidentally restarted the game. Why couldn't there have been proper instructions that tell you what the controls are? It's always worth saying you can control by keyboard, but why not actually put what the controls actually are? Right, I picked up a knife. How do I actually use it? Oh, for God's sake, this is absolutely whack. And all this could have been avoided if they actually put how to actually do things on the keyboard. In fact, in some cases, how to actually do it at all. How do you select other weapons? It doesn't say. And when I restarted the game just then, it's because I accidentally pressed the F button, which, uh, which restarts. And H is pause. Ugh, move! Oh, this is pants. I'm not enjoy this is this isn't enjoyable. Oh for God's sake. See you can't see what's going on because the bloody buildings are in the way. Oh god, and you can't and you can't duck or anything like that. No, of course not. Uh, and why aren't the why isn't that jumping mechanism I explained working? And why was I suddenly continuing to go left even though I just then, even though I was actually even though I actually pulled off left and other times it does stop immediately as expected. And, oh god alive, I'm nearly dead already. That's my energy meter in the top right corner, those dots. See it's already almost all drained. Give people invulnerability when they respawn. Oh. What? There was nothing there. I'm still trying to figure out how to switch to other weapons. I mean, I've just picked up a machine gun. I've got, I'm, I'm chuffing clue how to actually select it. Oh, when I tell you to stop going left, stop going left. Oh, this is pants. Sorry, T Dog. I try. I tried to give this fair go, and uh, and I'm I'm really not enjoying this. It's not fun at all. In fact, it's pretty unplayable. And the the way the um. The, the the way the ladders work, where you can seem where can where according to the instructions allow you to go round corners. I just feel like I'm I'm going round in circles and seeing the same scenery over and over again. Oh, for God! See, look, I got I got killed instantly on respawning because there was some right next to me where I, I respawn. I got no invulnerability no, for a brief period to make sure I didn't have my energy instantly drained within a second, and I lost my last life in. in Instantly. So no, this is no, this is absolute shite. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't rate Bazooka Bill at all. Oh my god. So, verdict time. Graphics 
well, it's not exactly the slickest game I've ever seen, even on the Spectrum. And the actual sprites are quite messy and not very well animated. And that, as I said, that punch animation looks looks more like it's been animated on a liquid crystal display uh, handheld game rather rather than on a computer. I mean, I'm on a computer; it could have done better than that. Uh, nice use of color with you know, with minimal clash. But when you're inside a building, the uh, the graphics impressive, uh, the uh, the back the building graphics impressive though they might be to look at, uh, cause a bit of a gameplay issue, which I'll get to in a moment. Sound, well, you're not. It's a 48k Spectrum game, so as I said previously, you're not going to get uh, absolutely mind blowing sound at the best of times due to the lack of space and the fact that 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 particular version of the Spectrum didn't have a dedicated sound chip. But at least it's got some sound, so. Gameplay, though. Well, it's not helped by the fact that the instructions don't tell you what the keyboard controls are. I had to figure them out myself, and I still haven't found the, found out how to select different weapons, nor, you know, after having picked them up, nor have I... Nor have I figured out how to actually do for, do any kind of jump, even though it clearly says in the uh, instructions that you can. And I just felt like I was going around in circles half the time because it says that going you know, that you 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 can actually access different parts of the gaming area by going up up or down ladders and. That's true, but I didn't find it particularly helpful. In fact, it's actually quite confusing. It would have been preferable if they'd done that kind of thing using doors, for instance, it, or gates or something like that, like you'd get in other games of its ilk. It just makes more sense. So, no, I... And talking... and. When you're inside a building, although you can see action as you go past windows, you still it's really hard to see bullets because they're almost, if not completely, out of view, and so sometimes so are enemies that you could accidentally walk into and have them drain your energy and kill you. And as is quite often the case, um, there's no invulnerability when you respawn. So if there's an enemy right next to, hovering about right next to where you respawn, they're going to quickly drain your engine. You're going to lose another life almost instantly after the previous one. That's not acceptable. That's just sloppy programming. And... It's just not. It's just not enjoyable at all. I, I just. I just didn't feel like I. I just didn't feel any sense of excitement or enjoyment in playing Bazooka Bill. I really didn't. So sorry, T Dog One Three Five. You may have, you may have thought it seemed decent, but. If you ever actually play it, you'll quickly change your mind. It's not fun at all to play. So I'm going to give Bazooka Bill on the ZX Spectrum 3 out of 10. Sorry, but... Sorry, Melbourne House, that's not... I, I, I just can't believe that the same software company that brought out the brilliant way of the exploding fist... Uh, um, had had one of the games not long after that be this absolute pile of cockadooky. So, yeah, three out of ten it is, I'm afraid. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another one soon. Texie88, out.